Hey everyone, welcome to a bit of a different video. This is my project update 2024, but first we gotta get some work done. It's time to go to the dump to get rid of some things, specifically a ton of renovation stuff and extra Infinity G35 parts that have been hanging around in my garage. First thing we gotta do, start up the old Ram, get her moving, and then we're gonna head on over to the dump. <laughs> This is gonna be fun. So I've never done a video while I've been driving before, but uh, I guess we may as well do a bit of a life update while we're at it. Right now is a pretty busy time for me. I'm uh, getting ready to move, and that means that I'm basically having to pack up everything. And the biggest thing to pack up on my list is actually the garage. And the reason for that is there is a ton of stuff in there, as you will see. ton of stuff is not necessarily a bad thing it's just that I have to move this stuff so basically the point of today was just to purge it as much as I can and that's been the important factor here is just purging the garage purging my projects everything is on hold right now for this but that's just part of the deal also boys hemi power nothing like it I uh, would not buy anything else at this point hemi it is This place reeks, man. Garbage dump? That's what you expect, I guess. Absolutely terrible smell. <laughs> This is, is the fun part. <laughs> say that went pretty darn well still gotta pay for this but not bad <laughs> I'll be able to tell you how much I weighed in and out to see how much garbage I threw away Alrighty. again ridiculously beautiful day for February it's just so beautiful out here so so nice alrighty <laughs> back to work don't, probably don't need to be in four-wheel drive anymore. <clears throat> Let's pay. pretty clean it was $37 um, I think base fee is $20 but I had 200 kilos worth of stuff in the bed 
which is a decent amount of weight so that's what they charge me for oh okay good feels good to be done um that's one thing off the to-do list today there's a lot of other things to do one of the things about having a child is um I haven't slept in in like eight months. <laughs> I'm up early every day, always trying to get stuff done, get work done. Um, that's the uh, that's the plan here, boys. Just got to get up and get moving. Not being lazy anymore. My days of non-fatherhood are behind me. Anyways, that's it for now. I'll see you back at the garage. So unfortunately I lost some footage right after this point. I don't know what happened to it, but uh, basically what I was talking about is my Tibron, the game plan for it, a couple of just small little details. Um, it's currently kind of out of commission, so it's probably going to be trailered to my new place when the time comes. Uh, but when I get there and when I finally get settled in and I have control over everything again and my garage is all set up and you know, there's gonna be like 5 million other small projects in the way. But the goal with it is to 3.8 swap it out of a Sedona minivan. So it's gonna be a 250 horsepower, 3.8, very similar architecture to the Genesis 3.8, except transverse, so it's gonna be front wheel drive. Uh, and my plan is also to use Infinity G35 brakes that I have in storage here. So we're gonna go G35 brakes, uh, Sedona 3.8 V6. Uh, transmission is gonna be a six speed out of a V6, uh, G3, or not G35, but a V6 Tibron. And then uh, I guess a lot of mods in order to make that work basically is what the plan is. I might end up having to use the entire Sedona front end I like the under side of it, <laughs> not the actual like front body work, but I'm talking about the subframe and the suspension and that kind of thing just to keep it all in line. So it's going to be a very interesting project when the time comes, but that is the plan. If you see any obvious issues with that, let me know. Obviously, I want to go all wheel drive. I want to do an Evo swap. I want to do a lot of things, but honestly, I think that this is the most cost effective way to get 250 horsepower out of one of these cars. Uh, without just taking the stock engine up to 11, um, which would be fun, but then at the end of the day, we're still a four cylinder with a turbo or whatever. It's not as cool to me as a big block V6 out of a different car, in fact, a minivan in the car. So that's what I uh, have planned for it, basically. Um, other projects, go-kart, I talked about that a bit in my clip that got lost, but essentially what I'm doing is uh, it's going to be finished eventually, and the house that I'm moving to will hopefully have enough space to ride it around. That's the goal. Um, and then I'm going to try to make it safe, <laughs> which is difficult, so my daughter can use it too and uh, every other project, I don't know. But if you want to know more about these projects and the stuff you see in my garage, check it out on my second channel. There's a lot of older videos there. Just filmed on my phone, but still reasonable quality. Um, it's Bright Hill, which I'll link in the description. And you can check that out to see more details on that. But anyway, back to me in the past, uh, talking about the garage. One of the things I've been thinking of with this garage and this workshop is obviously I need more space. So the new house, is going to have at least a double garage. This this place is a single with a little bit extra room. It doesn't leave me a lot of room to work on the car. I want to be able to work in the winter with the heat on, and I just cannot do that in this garage. And there's just no room, as you can see. I have too much stuff, and it's taken over. So yeah, that's the idea. More space, more room, hopefully more land, and a, a heater in the garage. <laughs> Those are the, the goals. Everything else, that's just optional. A couple other little projects I have. So I have these wheels. I actually have another two sets in my shed, which is connected to this garage. You can see I'm a bit of a hoarder of wheels. I bought these axles, or soon to be axles. It's basically just a three quarter inch. Um, this is indeed hollow uh, tube. And what I'm gonna be doing with these eventually, this might not happen before the move, but I'm gonna build a steel wagon, um, basically from some of the steel that I have. I just have an absolute load of steel. Um, using these power washer wheels, or yeah, they're all off power washers, um, make just a really buff wagon that I can use to pull some of the heavy objects that I have, and hopefully help me out with some of my yard work and stuff, because I have a bunch of wood, and I really don't wanna just carry like two or three logs at a time. It would be nice to have a wheelbarrow or a wagon or something, but I don't wanna buy a wheelbarrow, so I'm just gonna make one. <laughs> that's sort of my attitude. Um, so that's the idea there. I think that's going to be a fun project. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh yeah, you can see I still have some random Infinity parts. That's a drive shaft from an Infinity G35 coupe. 
Um, I still have the gauge cluster from an Infinity G35 coupe, as well as a couple of little small things that I just think are cool, like the vents, um, speaker grills. Uh, this is a horn, misc plastics. That's an engine cover for an Infinity G35. And then these boxes down here, except for the empty one, are full of the entire body and engine wiring harness uh, for an Infinity G35 that I just have stashed away on my shelf. So, uh, yeah, you need some parts. I got a brake master cylinder up there too. In some of these blue bins, I have uh, the full brake set for an Infinity G35 coupe, which I was planning on putting on this car. So that's probably something I'll do eventually, especially if we swap it to the 3.8. It's also gonna get Infinity brakes um, and an Infinity master cylinder, which is up there, which should give it a lot more stopping power because again, it's gonna weigh more. So we don't wanna, don't want to have to deal with that but it's been a while since i drove a manual except for in-game i'm excited to get back into this car but i know that that's not gonna happen anytime soon it's just sad man i really like this car but i just don't have any time for it right now um, but that being said it will be useful this thing is a lift back and i'm gonna pop the trunk fold the seats down and just fill it with stuff and then when and basically stuff from our house uh, that's a little more um, sensitive to moisture it can go in here and this will be a storage container essentially for for stuff until i eventually move it um, yeah so that's gonna be fun at the end of the day i'm just working on things slowly i'm doing my best to try and get this work done uh, but i'm uh, i don't know i'm a bit of a dreamer when it comes to projects i have a million ideas and i only have time for half of them Actually, I only have time for half of one idea, but I have a million ideas. There's just so much on my mind, stuff that I want to do, stuff that I think uh, I'll have time to do and that I don't have time to do. Um, at the end of the day, <laughs> I tend to rush things and just make stuff kind of just like, screw it, let's make it. And then it turns out okay, but it always could be better. So I guess one of my goals for the future and one of the things I've been thinking about a lot is... Um, trying to make specific time to work on things so that when I'm working on them, even if it goes slowly, I'm like focused, I'm getting things done, stuff is going well. That's really the goal. And hopefully when my daughter gets a bit older, she can join me in the garage and we can do some fun stuff together, teach her how to weld, teach her how to work with her hands, and uh, yeah, maybe she'll be useful one day. <laughs> That's always the hope with kids is, man, I hope she's actually useful and not an art student. But everybody, thank you for watching. I'm gonna get back to work. Um, sorry, this video is not automation, but we'll have more automation stuff next week. I just got to get through this busy weekend. There's just so much on the go, so much stuff to do, and it kind of it's kind of fun to film it with this GoPro um, that I got. Sticking it on the back of my truck and driving around is just extremely cool. So hopefully you like it. I'll see you again next time. Thank you for watching.